What are the ashes? Well, the term ashes, the ashes was first used after England lost to Australia for the first time on home soil in England and that was in August 1882. We're turning the clock back 135 years and it was a significant defeat for England. It wasn't the first match between England and Australia. That was 1877, the first test match at the MCG. But this was significant because of what happened afterwards. Just check the scorecard from this memorable test match. It was a very low scoring match. Australia 63 all out in 80 overs. England replied with 101 all out. Fred Sporforth, the Australian, picking up 7 for 46, the quickie. Australia in their second innings, 122 all out. And England, they were set a target of 85, were bowled out for 77 in 55 overs. WG Grace made 32 and Sporforth picked up 7 for 44. He picked up 14 for 90 in the match, but England lost that test match by just seven runs. Well, there was a gloom in English cricket, in English sport after this. The Sporting Times the day later wrote what was an obituary. It was a supposed mythical obituary for English cricket and it read, English cricket died at the Oval on the 29th of August 1882. The body will be cremated and the ashes taken to Australia. The words have remained ever since. The concept caught the imagination of the sporting public. At the end of the 1882 cricket season, Ivo Bly, who didn't play in that match at the Oval, was given the captaincy of England and he took an England side to Australia to play three tests and he vowed to return with the Ashes. Now they were mythical, these Ashes. The Australian counterpart Billy Murdoch would have none of that. He said they were going to defend them. What were the Ashes? Well, during this 1882-83 uh, tour, England played a lot of social matches. One of them was at Christmas Eve at a place called Rupert's Wood, just outside Melbourne. And the game which England won was a bit of a social affair. Captain Ivo Bly actually met his future wife, Florence Murphy, who, folklore tells us, presented him with an urn. Now this is my own urn, but this is the size of the urn where the ashes are now kept. She presented him with this. Many people thought it was a perfume holder. It might well have been. And it contained the ashes of the bales in that match on Christmas Eve that were burned and given to Captain Bly and he kept it and he regarded that as a present. Now then, he married the lovely Franz Murphy. They went back to England after England had won that series and that urn stayed on the mantelpiece at their family home in Rochester in Kent at Cobham Hall until Bly died in 1927 in 43 years later. Now at his request, Florence's wife bequeathed that urn, and it's only this big, to the MCC. And today, over 90 years on, this tiny, delicate and irreplaceable artifact resides in the MCC Museum at Lord's Cricket Ground in London. In the 1990s, the England and Wales Cricket Board commissioned an urn-shaped Waterford crystal glass trophy. And the Ashes trophy is what the modern teams play for now. It's crystal glass. And it was first presented to Mark Taylor after his team won the 98-99 Ashes against England. The urn has only twice been taken out of Lords. Once for the Australian Bicentenary celebrations in 1988 and secondly to accompany the Ashes series in 2006-07. I don't know what the reason was for that.